We held hands as we looked on our beloved daughter. She slept so happily, so innocently, so ignorantly. Our little family couldn't bear the distance anymore. It was nice to be back home. She sleeps, my beloved hushed a whisper to me. Shall we make time for ourselves? While we have it, I said. Yes, let us. We crept off to the foyer. It was a bit difficult navigating this old house again, but we managed. Soon we came upon a grand room, a large pipe organ with a window to the side that overlooked the channel that ran by our home. The last of the boats had cleared out for the evening. I sat down and knew my place immediately. As she looked on me, I could feel her smile as I began to play. The rich, gothic sound filled the chamber and rose up and out the ceiling like spirits. I must have lost track of time. Headlights came down the driveway, and I shut the organ's keys. I, I didn't know he was coming home early. <laughs> I suppose we can have a chat. I said to her with calmness in my voice. I, I didn't know either. I, I'm sorry, I, I didn't know, she replied. And so, he marched in, the light reflecting from his hand by his hip. Hello, old friend. I leaned back in my chair, smiling as I toyed with the ruffles of my sleeve. He didn't say much in response as he walked towards me. My beloved stood aside. What I can recall was the smoke that momentarily came over my eyes. Surprisingly, we didn't need to talk at all, him and I. We arranged for a car for him to drive him home. <laughs> Lucky him, for he looked very tired. When the night drew still, our daughter ran into the room and she hugged her mother. What is that smell? Was that thunder? <laughs> yes, dear. Only thunder. Only... thunder. I smiled as I leaned back in my chair, my beloved looking back at me. Quite simply, I turned back to the window, and I laid my fingers on the organ. <laughs>